Alright, here we go with another video tutorial for the Droid Max. Okay, in the previous tutorial I showed you how to set up Google Now using the touchless controls options. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you the remaining settings in touchless controls. To open those settings, swipe down from the top of your phone just like you would if you were checking to see if you had a voicemail or a text message. From the top of your phone simply swipe down and press the settings icon and then you're going to press settings at the top right corner. If you look down in the device section you'll see the option touchless control. Press that and here are the various settings for touchless control. Now the very first setting is to either turn on or off the touchless control option. If you do not want to use any touchless controls option simply deselect the first checkbox. The next one is to train launch phrase. This is the launch phrase that we used in the previous tutorial. If for whatever reason you need to retrain your phrase simply click this option. The next option is call while locked. As you may already know if your phone is not used for 10 or 15 minutes your display automatically goes off and your phone is locked depending upon what you set your time limit to. If you use touchless controls and you want to make phone calls while the phone is locked, make sure to place a check in the checkbox Call While Locked. If you don't want any phone calls to be made while your phone is locked, deselect this option. Now if you give your phone a command to make a phone call and you want the speakerphone to automatically be turned on when that phone call is connected, place a check mark in the Use Speakerphone option. If you do select this option, you will not have to press the speakerphone button once the call is connected. The next option is Confirm Before Calling. I'm going to press this option so you can see the choices that you can make. Now if you select Always Place Call without confirming, then when you give your phone the command to place a call, it will not ask you to confirm the call. The next one is to confirm based on calling history. What that means is, if you give your phone a command to place a phone call, if you have called that number many times in the past, then it will not ask you to confirm. If it is a new number, then it will ask you to confirm before a phone call is placed. And the third option is to always ask before placing a call. So if you select this option, once you give your phone the command to make a phone call, it's going to ask you to confirm it before that phone call is made. So those are your three options for confirm before calling. Now the last one is for help. If you want to see the various commands that you can give your phone, press that option and you can simply scroll through the options. And you'll be able to see exactly the kind of commands you can give Google Now. Okay, once again, if you have any questions, please go to droidmaxhelp.com and post a comment. I'll see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.